What's up guys, welcome to this video. In today's video I want to quickly show you how you can fix Roblox error code 267. Um, that's the topic of today's video, so just uh, watch until the end if you want to know how to fix this error. Um, but right before we start into the video I would really like to mention something. You guys would certainly make my day if you could leave a like, comment and subscribe to my small little channel. It would mean the world to me, so thank you very much. But let's start right into the topic. How can you fix error code 267 in Roblox? Um, first of all, just uh, find your Roblox desktop icon. And then, uh, first of all, I would suggest you to um, try running it as administrator. So just right click on your desktop shortcut and click on run as administrator. And um, it may sound obvious, but I would always suggest you to try restarting your computer as the first thing, thing you are trying and then uh, try running it as, as administrator and when those two things did not work um, again right click on your desktop shortcut and then click on properties and here uh, first of all I would suggest you to um, in the shortcut section change run um, into minimized so that you are running in uh, first of all a minimized window and then you can click on apply and then change over to the compatibility tab and here um, first of all I would always suggest you to try running this program in compatibility mode um, so just check the setting here and then Windows 8 is perfectly fine and then we can also just quickly run the compatibility troubleshooter so just click on this button here and then it's detect, 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 <laughs> detecting issues and then just click on try recommended settings test program Yes. Perfect. Um, and click on next. And yet, yes, safety settings. Perfect. Fixed. Uh, close. And then uh, down here in the settings, I would always suggest you to also enable um, or to activate uh, this setting here to disable full screen optimizations and to run this program as an administrator every time you start it so you don't have to right click on it and click on run as administrator and then uh, if you are playing roblox on two or more users on your computer then uh, this setting here or this button here might be important for you but for the most of you this won't be that important then just click on apply and click on ok and then just launch roblox again and the issue should be fixed Really hope this helped you guys. If you have got any questions or something did not work, just let me know in the comment section below. Um, I wish you a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Bye.